Welcome, welcome to One Minute Crypto. I'm your host, Kronos, and today we're going to talk about the Lightning Network topology, whether or not it's centralized, and we're going to look at a couple of graphs that'll give us an idea into that. The Lightning Network is a layer two payment technology on top of Bitcoin. It consists of payment channels between nodes to allow for instant payment. So before I show you the graphs, I want to thank our sponsor, America's Card Room. It's the poker site that lets you deposit and withdraw with over 60 different cryptocurrencies. They're doing a promotion right now where they're giving $50 to new players when you sign up with the bonus code Kronos. So if you love poker, be sure to check them out. So here's the first graph. This one's trending on Reddit right now, showing a severe centralization of the nodes on the Lightning Network. Each line represents a payment channel, and you can see these two major nodes lit up, and it makes it look like we've got a serious hub and spoke model where there's a couple of hubs servicing the entire network. But what you don't see here is those really light gray lines. Take a look very closely here at those light gray lines. Those are also payment channels, and they're just kind of being faded into the background. So here's a shot of the entire network where the, every payment channel is lit up. Looks a lot different, doesn't it? What we can learn from this is that the presenter of the first chart didn't want you to think that it was decentralized. They wanted to present a centralized picture. Now here's another graph of that same network topology. This time we see red nodes have more connections, greens are more of the outliers. But one thing that's not obvious here is those big green blobs are actually groups of nodes that are all connected to one red node. So it's not immediately obvious, but when you look closely, you can see that those green nodes don't don't have good interconnectivity to the network. They're all connected into one place. So the creator of this graph wants you to think it's more decentralized than it is because it's putting all of those isolated nodes together into a set to make it look like they're connected when they're really not. So the takeaway from this is that when you're receiving information about the Lightning Network, you need to consider the source. What does the person presenting the information want you to believe? Because it's likely that they're kind of giving it a slant to support their own view. So watch out for that. Now, my own opinion is that this current network topology is not too centralized. It's actually looking pretty good. Decentralization looks good. But it remains to be seen whether or not the Lightning Network is going to become centralized due to market pressures as it grows and becomes more commercialized. If you have thoughts on whether the Lightning Network is currently centralized or whether it's going to become centralized, I want to hear what you think, so throw your comments below the video. I'm Kronos. Thanks for watching.